I'm looking at the future of Nigeria when I look at, at you. And it's a wonderful future. I also know this, that I, I've almost never met a Nigerian who, when I asked him how to fix his country, didn't point to somebody else and say, it's his problem or her problem. I got a leadership problem. Literally. The guys walking in the second row that are right now are nodding their heads up and down in agreement. Everybody says it's a leadership problem, and I think they're right. But in a democracy, who are the leaders? Can I hear that a little louder? And who among the people are likely to be the most active? I heard the capital Y. Did I hear it again? It's the youth. youth. Absolutely. So the question that you have is very simply this. What kind of leaders will you be? Not just you all on election day. What kind of leaders will you be tomorrow and this afternoon? Will you make sure that everybody that you know knows what the basic rights are of every voter? Will you share the notion of what 4,000 Naira is divided by four years full of days and say, don't sell yourself for 30 pieces of silver and don't sell yourself for a couple of gold. But there's something more. We talked about the role of security forces. Let's talk about the role of insecurity forces. Of all those people who are asked not to help the boat go across the stream with all the hopes and all the dreams of Nigeria, but to rock the boat until some people fall out. There is an opportunity for everyone here to be part of the true security of the future country. Holding all Nigerians in a boat, bringing all Nigerians to the far shore, or here in the countryside, finding a path forward for every Nigerian, for those who farm, for those who fish, for those who herd, for those who do commerce, for those who do transport, for all. You know, a campaign, if we, if you, see each other in the world voting and not fighting, what's the expression? No be war. Election no be war. Election no be war. Election no be war, but election alone no be democracy either. <laughs> democracy, <laughs> democracy is, and democracy will be, democracy be you. And you is the first part of you. So make this year, make this year a rebirth of the youth of Nigeria's democracy. And by the way, there is a spring of youth in every person, in your grandparents. There is this spring of youth. Find it and make it yours. So there are a couple of things that you can do. First, know your rights, share those rights. Second, on election day, don't let anybody take your card or buy your card. Third, if you have trouble voting, report it. Figure out a way to make people know where there's a problem. Fourth, if something goes wrong in the voting process, report that too. And then finally, as the course of the elections go on, as people are talking about what they're going to do, ask them what you can do. And maybe sometimes ask them how they're going to do it. And when you really want to make a difference, don't just ask them how they're going to lead, ask them how you can help. Because there are in Nigeria amazing resources. And I'm looking at it. Amazing resources. What are the resources that Nigeria has more than any other country on the African continent? The people, the youth. Can I hear that louder? What's the number one resource in Nigeria? Absolutely. So here's the number one question. What will you do with your number one resource? But for you today, for you here right now, there's an even better question. Not what will others do, 
What, what will you do? You all with the shirts in the back row. What will you do? And the answer is, you can change the future, not just of your own life, and the life of your children, and the life of your nation. You can change the future of our whole world by what you do in the next 65 days. And then what you do every day after. So congratulations, and uh, if you will welcome me, and I've got another round of applause for two things, for having made this talk here today. Thank you very much, sir.